previously on Let's Play Papios the Beginning. Our adventure took us to the Chamada tribe where we unlocked temples and used preachers to aid us in knocking out the Chamada tribe. But our adventure didn't end there. There we had to knock out the Matak tribe. Many spells were cast. And shamans yelped. But in the end, we were victorious. What will happen in this part? Let's find out. How on earth did this guy get over here? What in the world? You know, all your guys are over there getting their butts kicked, and you're just over here jerking off in this mountain over here. What is the matter with you? Taco. And welcome back to Let's Play Papios the Beginning. In this, in this part, we are going to take on Death from Above. This is the last planet in this little solar system, and then we're going to move on to bigger and better things in the next part. So, let's get going. my vision, I beheld the ultimate horror, the angel of death. It is an unstoppable force that will destroy everything in its path. If my enemies, the Takini, reach it before me, our fate is sealed. So, I know the message is kind of covering it, but our objective is to reach that. Before these fine people, aka the Takini, There she is. Looks like we get to start off with the guard tower, which is good. Here's the scary part about this level. We have 15 minutes to reach it, so we gotta haul booty and just get going. My first couple attempts in this level failed. First time I tried reaching the statue via a boat. Second time, I tried reaching the statue via a land bridge. Both of these attempts did not work in my favor. So, we are going to take a look at my third attempt and see how things play out. So, here we are. We are at attempt number three here. In our first attempt... In our first attempt, we tried to attack them via the boat. And I'm still considering trying that again. Just kind of sailing around their tribe. If I could kill their shaman, I could... I think this time around, I might... I might make more preachers. I'm going to send the shaman over here. We got to use our time wisely here. Get these wild men. That should be all of them. So, missed one wild man, but that's okay. Go ahead and get our boat. And the, they can start worshipping that totem pole right there so we can make some warriors. We're gonna get them over there with them. So here we are, attempt number three, guys. I'm not not as good as this game not as good at this game as I used to be. And need one of them to go back to get the last four. Graves. So here we are. Get them all to worship that totem pole together.
It's almost tempting to build a hut. It really is. So maybe I can squeeze in one little warrior. One more warrior at the last minute. We don't need two huts. There's not enough time for that. Might as well try it. We'll get three braves to build right there. We'll take our idle braves. I don't want all you guys building. Here, take four of those. Get them to train to be war. What are you guys doing? You just help them. We'll get two. Uh, let's do three. Three to go become preachers. I think we could use maybe a few more preachers because that was a good distraction before. And we'll get the shaman over here to worship Thane. I don't know if building this building this hut's going to do any good, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Because maybe if I'm lucky, I can get a couple last-minute followers because... Because the bigger the team, the better. If there's anything, if there's anyone we really need to kill, it is that shaman right there. So if the shaman can't cast spells, then maybe we can use our preachers to get some of their guys on our side, and we can really make a good at attempt this time around. So that might be my plan here. So we're just gonna wait for them to train. I don't know if we're gonna get any last minute followers. We only have 10 minutes here, so it's just... You know what I might do actually? I'm gonna go ahead and get them to train to be warriors. I think what I'm gonna do so I'm actually gonna, I actually am gonna use this boat, and we're gonna, we're gonna take a portion of the. Well, what I'm gonna do is get the shaman down here by herself, and we are gonna go ahead and cast a land bridge. I'm gonna keep a preacher. This is gonna, we're gonna have to do quite a bit of multitasking here, but I think I'm gonna get a small group to attack by this direction. Then we're gonna take the other group in the boat to go that direction. Maybe their tribe will get distracted. Though I'll be trying to kill my guys while worship that. The Cargoyle. Is that, what that, is that what that was called? I'm wasting time here, I know. Yeah, the, the Gargoyle. <laughs> Looked like Cargoyle. The font's all pixelated. I was like, a Cargoyle? What the hell is a Cargoyle? So we're going to go ahead and cast a land bridge right here, right now, but we're going to go back over here, wait for our guys to train. I do think we might have gained one follower out of that. So we're going to get him to train as a warrior, just to be ready. Because I am going to put the shaman with them in the boat. I don't know if that's a smart idea. I'm going to take... Let's see, I'm gonna take three warriors, a shaman, and a preacher. Kai. The rest of the group is gonna go via that land bridge. I'm just gonna kind of attack from different directions here. So, I think all our guys are trained, so here we go. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out here a little bit. Send them over there. Everyone's in the boat. Great. Oh wait, no, we're waiting for this preacher. Come on, buddy. I don't have all the time in the world here. And send these up here. We need to really keep an eye down here. Because yes, they can come attack us. Send them a little bit further out, away from the land, so they're, so the mean old shaman can't sink our boat. I went ahead and uh, 
warship that told him pull us this time. I don't need a land bridge that way. Uh, let's have him hold. Let's see, they're chilling out here. I need him to get to here. So I'm, I'm just gonna let him chill out here for a little bit. Fingers crossed that they don't come and sink our boat or something. All right, guys, fingers crossed. Would be really cool if I could get him to sneak along the side, but I think the hill is gonna be a little too steep here. Again, we're not gonna do anything here. We're just gonna keep walking through until they start attacking us. So far, we're... We have a preacher with us, so... Now, while they're attacking, we are gonna... We are going... God dang it. We're gonna take this boat over here, we're gonna send them over here, and we're... We're gonna start worshiping that statue. Kill that preacher right there. Here we go. We need to hurry up. We got another lightning spell almost there. And we just need to start worshiping that. And I think we've done it. There you are, guys. So, there is the Angel of Death. Three Angel of Deaths. And this is going to be fun right here. They're going to fly around a little bit, and they can spit fire, and there you are, <laughs> you just, they will pick their whole tribe up. There's nothing they can do. Yeah, they're in trouble. There goes their shaman. May she rest in peace. And that is how you beat this level. Your objective is to worship that gargoyle, not destroy their base. So, thank you, Angel of Deaths. There they are. And four of our guys survived, so. So, there you are. That took ten minutes. Not bad. Um, our first couple attempts failed, but you just kind of have to try. It's kind of trial and error. So, anyway... That is going to be the end of this part, but as you can see, we're going to be taking on building bridges in the next part, and we'll be starting in a whole new little planetary solar system. So, I hope you guys will stick around for that. Um, and that's, that's all there is today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.